this is my wife Kasha and we have the Bee Kind store in Sebastopol and we're all about honeybees everything to do with honeybees <laughs> and we're out here today to put honeybees in Tori's apple and Asian pear orchard at Gabriel Farms. Right. Yes. The basic hive setup starts with a bottom board. A screen bottom board gives you better ventilation and hive debris falls out of the hive and the bees will end up with some mites and the mites fall off the bees and they fall out of the hive also. So it's healthier um, habitat for the bees to have a, a screened bottom. The basic hive body is a box like this. This is a, called a 10 frame box. It sets on the bottom board like that. These are called the frames. They go in the hive like this. This is foundation. The bees build the comb right on the foundation. We put eight frames in a 10 frame box. And two boards that are called dummy frames or follower boards. And they go on the outside like this. And that creates an airspace here for insulation from both hot and cold and more ventilation because the cool air out here is going down while the warm moist air is rising. <laughs> and it, it ventilates the hive better and you get fewer bee diseases and much healthier bees when you've got more, better hive ventilation. This is called an inner cover and it sits on the hive like this. And it, creates a dead air space, which is also insulation. And the telescoping cover telescopes over the sides of the cover and keeps rain out. Also, the bees will glue this lid down, but they don't glue this down. So when you look in the hive, this just lifts right off. But then you have to have a hive tool to unstick this lid from the hive. We use a an entrance reducer to vary the size of the entrance. We'll put a. This is on the smallest entrance right here. When you start a package of bees like we're doing today, um, it's a, a very small community of bees and they have a hard time defending a large entrance. So they, you give them a small entrance to defend and they can do that just fine right here. And as the colony grows, you can enlarge the entrance, and then when it's a full-strength colony with, say, 50,000 bees in it, you can remove the entrance reducer altogether. So when this box gets full, we add another box on top. The lower box is where the bees will raise the brood, and the upper boxes is where they'll store their honey. The more honey they bring in, you keep giving them more room. In the summer, you harvest the honey, and then give them back after you harvest the, the honey, you give them back the frames to refill with honey for their own um, stores during the winter. Usually the hives are painted to help preserve them. This is called a package of bees. Okay, It's roughly 10,000 bees, about three pounds. Um, there's a queen. She's hanging from a little cage, her own little special cage inside the box on this tab. And there's a can of syrup. Keep this to sustain them um, for a few days. We put a rubber band around the frame. We find the rubber band is the easiest way to mount the queen on the frames. We have a marshmallow and a screw. So the queen's on this tab here. I need to take the queen out. To do this, we remove the can of syrup. Slide the queen out, and that I'll just easy. cover the hole there a little bit. Does the beginner have it that no, easy, Doug, getting that out of there? So yes. Um, yes, if they have a good grip on the tab. Often they don't have a grip on the tab, and they drop it into the <laughs> box of bees. <laughs> then they have to reach in there and get it, <laughs> and that's um, frightening for a lot of the beginners. That's why I'm here. So the queen is in this little cage right here. Come here, girls. We just brush them off. You, want to have that you can use grass to brush the bees off the, <laughs> the cage, and it does not upset them. Bees don't attack plants. So here's the queen bee running around in her cage. She's a dark queen, she's a carniolan, and she has a long tapered abdomen. Otherwise, she's the same size as the other bees. There's a cork in the queen cage. 
holds the queen in. So we use the screw as a corkscrew to remove the cork and we'll put a marshmallow in the cork's place. So we'll wait until the queens look in the other way, we'll pull the cork and plug the hole. And then when she's not looking, we just mash the marshmallow into the hole. We mount the queen on the frame with the rubber band, just like that. Doesn't get any easier. She goes in the middle of the hive. We can put the rest of the bees with the box into the hive and remove the can. This is a can of syrup. And I'll just put some holes in this. Some more holes, make it easier for the bees to access the syrup. And I'll put this right here and the bees can suck that syrup down from inside the hive. The entrance reducer is on the smallest hole right here. The bees are contained. It'll take them a day or two to empty this can. And then we'll give them a different type of feeder and they'll consume um, up to a quart a day. In a couple of weeks, they'll go through a gallon a week easily. But right now they have no place to put the syrup. They have no comb built. So they'll load up on syrup and then they'll have no place to put it. And then their wax glands will start producing the beeswax from their abdomen. And they'll build comb in a hurry. And then once they've got comb built, they just throw the syrup in the cells. That's the fastest and easiest way. So two days later we go in, remove the, the box, the queen cage, button up the frames, keep feeding them syrup. We don't disturb them for a week. After a week, the queen's in there, she, the comb's been built, there's pollen, there's nectar, they're probably laying eggs already, the queen is. But you won't be able to see the eggs because they're pure white and the comb they're building is pure white and the royal jelly is pure white, so it's really hard to see. After two weeks, you'll be able to see the larva that's growing in the cells. In egg hatches on the third day, on the ninth day the cell is capped and the egg grows 1,000 times its weight in six days, from the third day to the ninth day. So, that's all there is to it. Tori, you're on your way with your bees. Yeah, two days I'm out here. <laughs> Henry, you want to feed the bees? What? We'll learn how to feed the bees together. This is exciting. We've got our own bees.